I like War Sheik. Let's go for War Sheik. No, Afgui. Good old Afgui. We're also going to just let him know that we want all of this land, man. Boom, boom, boom. Was it? No, I don't think that's a wipe. But still, it's a good victory. And that, that increases the speed now of my siege. When you win a battle while sieging a, a fort, you then get a bonus going forward. I think it's a plus one bonus per turn. So, I mean, sure. <laughs> Tag team, we are back again as the mighty Nubia. We have not started punching north into the Mamluks yet, but we must grow our base to the south first before we head north. Or at minimum, we need to see the Ottoman before we're going to be able to uh, smash our way through the Mamluk forces. This is not a problem. We have lots to do to keep us busy before then. We can make four more units. I am going to build all four of those. And then we're going to attack Ajaran with both of my allies. I do want my troops in the area because I want to take possession as much of this as possible. Well, it doesn't look like Adele wants much. Or Kilwa. They, they very well might just hand me all of that land. Because I got Adele and Kilwa. Both my boys in on this. So Mombasa. Can't co-belligerent you. Melinda. Can't co-belligerent you. Not a problem. Other option is right on to Ethiopia. But I think having both of my allies fight this out for me, I think that's the better play. Yeah, that's definitely what we're doing. Boom, let that one click. I want to make sure no wars fire off while I'm doing this. That's why I just want to fire right away. I don't want Kilwa to get into another conflict. I don't want Adal to get distracted. Afgui can be the war goal. Whatever the heck here. Or War Sheik. I like War Sheik. Let's go for War Sheik. No, Afgui. Good old Afgui. And the plan here is to do as little as possible in this war. I want to contribute as little as humanly possible. Uh, we have access to the mammoth. 433. It's not bad. It's not bad. That's 10. That's one more than the previous air I threw out. So I'm gonna I'm gonna hold on to him. Let that army form up. You'll be legalism. Hey, we can extract some wealth. Yeah, it's it's corruption. Yeah, yeah, corruption. So I wanna debase the currency. And jump in here and pray the corruption away. Feels good, man. Feels oh so good. Oh, and for the idea, I ended up going with innovativeness. I'm only going to get it up to the third for that tech cost. Minus 10%. And then my next one will be mercenaries. They join up. Mwah, chef's kiss perfectly. Going to give us some super soldiers, super Nubian soldiers to uh, flood across the Egyptian lands. Both those suck. But I have a mission that has me getting prestige. It's the only reason I picked that one. Otherwise, I definitely would not have. Right, we got our whole army there. Four more are added. All right, let's go. So we both use both of you. I still don't see the Ottoman. It might be worth just improving with the Mamluks, keeping them nice and loyal and loving me. Latia. Now I can absorb you. <laughs> Slowly getting the prestige up. Feels good. Adal might be going for that capital. What you doing, Adal? What you doing? And enemy force. Yeah, see, there still is a 20 stack. There's 20,000 enemy troops running around. I can't be completely willy-nilly here. Even though it looks like... No, Adal's taking that. Adol, what are you doing? That is vexing. Adol's taking all the way down to... Th what are you talking about, man? That means he'll take the capital, too. Adol, not cool, man. He's taking all of it. He literally wants all of this land. Oh, that's a screw-up by me hard. That's such a screw-up by me. Uh, 
I could have been down there way better. Okay. So be it. So be it. Hmm. That is very vexing. I'm not gonna lie. That's just such a screw up. That's such a dumb screw up too. Oh well, so be it. Could I do something like attack Ajron? No. Don't think we have ran out of our truce here. No, I've still got nine years. So it'll be Ethiopia. It'll be the next attack. So I want to make sure I'm still currying favors with Adol. And I want to top up my relations with him too. Because I, I want him on this attack. I want his cooperation. What do we have? Mombasa, let's just run on down. I don't know why my uh, my allies aren't attacking. Well, now you come. Now you come, Adal. That's great to see. It's great to see. I will take everything I can, but yeah, I am I am definitely annoyed by that. And they're giving me these plots down here. Down here, you'll give it to me. Sure, man. <laughs> sure. Never took strong duchy. Let's go ahead and take that. Get our two slots open. I could get another subject down here. Can make Melinda. My vassals, no big deal. That's not on the um, the coast with Kilwa. So Kilwa should be cool with that. And then we'll take cash from Mombasa. I think that's the way to go. <laughs> Smally land will core you up. Sounds good to me. Okay, so, like I said, Mombasa, we're just taking all of your cash. Let's get you home. Do 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 do. Okay. Now I want to get all of my forces up here into this area first. So I don't get stuck down in Melinda. So we're about to take Melinda right here. There we go. So Melinda is my newest subject. All the cash. Beautiful. Suppose we could pay. No, just three of the loans off. And then finally, what did I say? It's whatever I can get from Azure. Cash, war reps, trade power, all of the goodness. Our newest subject of Melinda. Can I absorb you, Letia, yet? Mm, ooh, I could actually absorb Letia. So we want to get that happening. Or I just annex um, Mirahan here. Oh, I could give this all to Mirahan. Then I don't have to core it. That would save me these points and I could just absorb Mirahan. I could annex him this way. And then I can give this land to my new subject of Melinda down here. I like this. I like this. This is a forming plan. This is what we're going to do. We'll get rebellion if I seize land. That's unfortunate. The Alima and the Amirs are most unhappy. Where do we think this occurs? Though? If it happens down here, it's fine. I'm right on it. All right. So be it. No, it happened all the way. Literally all the way the farthest played Stubby. It's religious rebels, dude. I'm already Sunni. Like, why are you rebelling? What's the point of this? What is the point of this? Um. Okay, let's do this first. One step at a time. So we, we come here to Mirahan. We want to grant the provinces. Yes. Grant province. Yes. Grant province. Yes, and finally Grand Province. Yes. Alright, so we let him core that all up. <laughs> Patron of the Arts, I like that. Tech cost minus five, idea cost minus five. Yes, sir. That's a good one. That's a very positive one. Uh, so you're running to the north. 
Olga Dean is defended. Adal is ready to attack with us, though. Adal is all on board. It's just Marahine. I want to start absorbing you. Let's get you back. I don't know if I'm going to regret having my... My, um... My army in two. And a looming disaster? What are you talking about? Ah, oh, too much influence from the merchants. Oh, I shouldn't have had the financial demands on. So much! Alright, well, we'll just get to war and do, do our best to keep them loyal after this point. Won't be seizing any land for a bit. Boom. Okay. Ethiopia. We'd like to uh, have a word. Uh, a war. A word with you. War. Word. Both. Yeah. And we're almost two to one on the troops. I like the. I like the looks of that. We're also gonna just let him know that we want all of this land, man. You can have your your neighboring provinces, but that's it. Let's see if this works. So I don't want to force myself into having to do all the fighting over there. Let's see if he'll join up with me. 50 military points. Sounds perfect. Nice. We'll get level 6. And then we'll declare on the Ethiopians. I like it a lot. Somali light. Let's go to Toreg. Come out of that Mox E5. Down south we go. Hello, Ethiopia. Finally, we can get two more units. We're going to build those guys. Mox B5 as they pump out. <laughs> That'd be pretty close. All right, I don't want to. I don't want to wait any longer. I want to attack. Adal is in Ogadine. It's going to be for agu it's on the border with me or axum axum i'm attacking right away so that makes that makes better sense i suppose <laughs> the dolls in we'll come down to ogadin after hopefully a doll focuses on ethiopia with me here or ethiopia focuses on a doll yeah that's the better way to think of it that is definitely what we want Okay, so Adal is coming to me. If I come on this fort, that 12,000 might stack up with me, which is what we want there. No, he went north. Dude, I don't know if I want to attempt a mountain fort. That's so aggressive. That's so aggressive. If I, if I do that, I got to go all 13, like every troop I have on that, basically. I still don't know if that's the right move. <laughs> oh, I got better troops. That might be what stops him from attacking me. Just the fact that I have those better troops. Now, I can't see all of his army. That's the other little fearful thing here. Could be running up after this one stack. So I will fall, I will fall back with them. Yeah, until I see his army come out. Maybe get over here onto Angot. I just don't know where they are. Where are you? Where are you? I will try for Angot. We'll see if we can get him to join with me, too. No, he's, he's going to go fight his own fights. As long as I... No, he's coming with me. There we go. I got there first. Do, do, do. A, a stab? Yes. Yes, please. You can see. You can hear it. You can hear I'm tense. I'm tense. Ethiopia, man. I Anyone who's played a lot of this game, they have uh, had some surprisingly tough wars against Ethiopia in their past where you, where you think you got this. You're like, yeah, I got the numbers here, man. I'm good. And then it turns into just a slog that you were not expecting. That's that's what I'm worried about here. Okay, so we still have that. We have eight thousand troops there. Oh, he won that. He won that Highland Fort. 
So I need to immediately think twice about moving my guys away. No, you giveth me stab, you taketh my stab away. Feels bad, man. Twenty one percent. I don't know. It's a Highland and Gondor. Okay, I can see his eight thousand. Innovativeness gain. Sure, it's the next one we want. Okay, I, there you go. I can see all of his armies. He is focused on a doll. Exactly what we want. Exactly what we want. 28%. I'm thinking it's safest just to chill here for a second. We want to ensure we win this mount fort before we do anything else. If they're attacking a doll, this is good for me. It seems like an all win. Wins all around. Perfect, perfect. Mountain four. So we burn it day one, and then we move on. That perfect world, he's going to come up. He's going to run around me, and he's going to go sit on that mountain for it. And then we will we will smash him. Oh, so I have these two forts. I have a mountain and a highland. I think the highland's safer. I, I will move off. And we'll go for the Highland first. And if anyone goes for the Mountain Fort, we'll let that be a doll. If he wants that, go at it, bro. Chase that rainbow. So you have no Siege Pips. You got the Siege Pips. So you'll go on to Agnew. You'll get on to Demolot. Let's get uh, Melinda. My newest subject loving me that little bit more. And the other thing is, do I want like a kind of want the kind of want the national tax guy? He'd give me a point three a month right now, so I'd only be paying like point seven a month for it. Done, done. Like dinner. Okay, so you can go to Ulsa. I'm not super eager to run across and fight random natives. Yeah, we'll take both these plots right now. Now that I can see him divided up like this, and back into some Mox B5. I can see his armies. Oh. No, oh, he is making a swing. What are you doing? No, he's coming down to Alexius. As long as I'm not in Mox B5, I can... We're good. I don't have to actually move anything. Now, where are you going to move next? I have the defensive at both of these. Is he so aggressive just to go straight to uh, to Demolt? Oh, I can't see you now. That's that's frustrating. I gotta get my guys together just in case he is going to Demolt. Okay, there you go. So I can see you again. Let's get into Shawa. That saves Wallow from being unsieged. Perfect. And this just goes back to as long as I see him, we're fine. I don't want to take that mountain fight, though. I would fall off and to ensure we get them all. Yeah, he's going south. Perfect. Uh, enemy numbers have been reduced quite a bit by at least 5,000. Yes, we got them all. He goes straight for that capital. Do not pass. I don't care about anything else. I'm going straight for that capital. At the same time, we'll detach a little sieging army to grab these border provinces so Adal doesn't grab them because he will want them. He'll keep him for himself. All right, Ethiopia is in a retreat here. Some luck to his capital. Could I be so lucky? Oh, I am. That's great. Oh, I love it. Boom, boom, boom. Was it? No, I don't think that's a wipe. But still, it's a good victory. And that that increases the speed now of my siege. When you win a battle while sieging a, a fort, you then get a bonus going forward. I think it's a plus one bonus per turn. So I mean. Sure. <laughs> Give me bonus. I like bonus. So he's now retreating to Ogadit. Ogadin, correction. And we've got all of the neighboring provinces that we wanted. I'll take some aggressive expansion reduction. We're going to take a big chunk out of the Ethiopians here. And we want everyone to be chill with that. We want pretty much everyone to just be totally cool with the situation. Do. We're moving towards legalism, but of course. Yeah, 
Yeah, he still has an army. We'll carpet siege you down. And nothing, none of my territory has been sieged this whole time. They haven't, they haven't, there's no devastation to my lands. You'll love to see it. That is Kaffa, that's the capital. Perfect. Now we'll get right onto Ogadin with my sieging army, and these guys will just finish off whatever's left behind. Seems strange. Only 57%? That must be because they have these forts. They think they're still in it. I, let me assure you, friend, you are not still in this. One last province from you. Oh, no! No! <laughs> Don't wipe them! Fall back. I didn't. Oh, that was a mistake on my part. We'll get my uh, my armies back together. No, I'm gonna lose another one stack. One stack. <laughs> one stack. I just called it a one stack. Okay, let's not do anything silly here. Get you guys back together. We can build one more unit. Get you built. Look at the Ethiopians coming back hard. A doll, why did you abandon them? A doll, why did you abandon them? You had the numbers. Okay. That was that's yeah. That just happened. Hmm. You boys together, you to Demont, start extracting some cash. Avoid those boys. 17,000 I want nothing to do with. We'll just lock up this fort, then we'll come deal with the last Ethiopian troops. He's got good troops, man. He's got good troops. It's not a pushover. Even even as like the Mamluks, you can you can get in over your head against uh against the Ethiopians, for real. So it's a Highland advantage. We'll let Buddy, join in, and in we go. You got this! Everyone flood in! It's a 16 to 10. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Plus, we're occupying his whole nation. But he gets to retreat. He gets a full retreat somehow. Why do you get a full retreat, huh? I don't get that. Doesn't seem like he should get a full retreat. Hmm. That that seems like a little bit of bollocks if you <laughs> if you're asking me. I'm gonna take out these rebels, both of them. By that point, I will have this fort. Then I'll come down and finally take out Ogadine. That's our tech cost, plus some national unrest. Now I'll get back to taking our admin techs. Double goop gone. Let's get right up to this one first. And I can just detach an army too. Oh, is that a fort? No, no, it's not a fort. Okay. Like, he took a fort that fast for me? I, don't, I didn't remember that happening. Boom, finally Shiva falls. Down we go. What is going on? Where are these armies coming from? That was the previous army? It got away? Alright, let's make sure we do this right. <sighs> is there March 2nd? I'm there on the 11th? Okay. So I don't actually fight Ethiopia if I arrive there. We're good with that. I want to take care of these rebels, and we'll come back this way. Boom, boom, boom. Quick little wipe. Ethiopia still has an army, man. I just... They are the, the troops that could. Oh, we lost! And we lost. That's fun. Yeah, Ethiopia. 
They're weak. There's no point even, like, giving them a chance to take back their capital. And I can use this army to come south. Oh, we took a loan! Get our king on there. Boom, boom, boom. Um, just extend the one. After this, we'll correct all our finances. He still gets... To, oh, yeah, because he can get all the way to Ogadin. Well, so be it. We'll, we'll, we'll give him a chase. No, oh, Adela's finally on Ogadeen. Adela, I want you fighting Ethiopia, not going on Ogadeen. Your, your priorities all ass backwards. And he's taking it for himself. Oh, I'm, I'm so annoyed by that. Well, so be it. We'll just take from Ethiopia then. If that's the case, I could just white piece out Ogadeen right now. Yeah, that's what we'll do. We'll just get rid of him. And a stab loss, a free stab loss, just to just to wreck just to wreck the end of the episode for me. That's annoying. I am gonna chase down and eradicate this army before we peace out. That's a fort. That's advantage me. Oh, he took my capital fort. The rebels took my capital fort. Dude! This is sloppy gameplay. <laughs> this is sloppy gameplay. Let's do a little better than this. I probably should have ran the stream more. I, I didn't notice how close they were to winning that. Rebel scum has been dealt with. Now it's only 7%. Nah, we just piece them out. With no army. 20 Ducats. It's not worth it. It's not worth waiting on. So we'll clear that offer. Oh, he'd give me. No, he wouldn't give me Ogden. We piece you out. Now we'll, uh, we can take whatever we want from Ethiopia. <laughs> See? Even with the overwhelming numbers, it still wasn't a clean finish to, uh, to the war with the Ethiopians. I'll welcome some manpower. That's okay with me. So what would we like? We definitely need to... Well, I guess just... Oh, yeah, they have gold mines. They have gold mines. Let's make sure we're grabbing the gold. Economic, trade good... So it's those two. It's Kaffa and Demont. So we're taking Kaffa. There's Demont. And then his forts would be the other one. Demont, Shawa, Lhasa. So we got Lhasa. Finally, Wulu. Hmm. Now, I can't core this stuff for a bit. So I can give this to Alachia, and then I can just absorb Alachia right after. That's probably a better way to do that. And that way we get that gold mine right away. Alachia, 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 Alachia. That gets Kaffa. Where were those other forts? So yeah, I don't actually care about those two plots. I guess that one to block off a dull. And then just straight up do cats to pay off my loans. Done. Done like dinner. <clears throat> that get us out of debt? Oh, I still got one loan left. Oh, and it's a high interest. That's a mistake. I thought I paid myself completely out. Thank you for making it to the end, guys. Let's got a mission done at least. 50 admin points. Very welcome. 
I can only start coring one single province of Axum. So I might actually end up giving a couple more of these to uh, Wallachia. But what I'm curious is end of month. No, he did not jump onto the great power list. Oh, no, it's it's the Mamluks. It's the Mamluks who were chasing all the way. Thanks for making it to the end, guys. We'll see. If we get there, as soon as we get the Ottoman on board with us, we will be able to turn on the Mamluks. And it's, oh, yes, look at that. We can see them. We can see them. We're going to improve relations. Thank you again. Comment, like, all that great stuff. I'll see you next time. Goodbye.